Obviously, yeah. that was your spot out there on the bump. Now, what do you do if you're him to settle things down? That's not the way to do it. A base hit to left field for Ryan Farney. And that will load the bases still with no one out as Cole Langford is held up at third. The biggest thing you've got to try to do right now is create some kind of feeling of, of discomfort in the box right now for these Texas hitters. Everybody in the week plus that they've been here. Now let's see if they can tack onto this one run lead. A couple of defensive changes for Fremont, California. That's Jack Verona who came in as a pinch hitter. He's over at first base. And moving from first to third is Bryce Fryan. Staying on the mound is Justin Danda, who now is in a spot where he really needs to try and hold down Houston here in the top of the fifth with Ryan Farney leading off. Farney grounds one foul at home plate. Farney's one for two, had a base hit his first time up back in the first and popped out to second in the third. I think important too for Dan on the mound. I mean, he committed a seven nothing game. Obviously, the adrenaline's flowing, but you put six on the board offensively. Now it's time to control it out there on the mound. Sharp ground ball and a base hit down the left field line for Ryan Farney. He'll round first and head to second. The throw from Pierce Romero comes in, not nearly in time. So it's a leadoff double for Ryan Farney and another momentum shift as Houston has. A base runner in scoring position. To start the inning on a powerful swing from Farney. Not enough time for Fryan to react on a third base. New, just move from first base to third base. Then you get a ball like that hit at you. No time to get the glove in front of him. Right here, Farney. So an inning that began innocently enough with a strikeout and a pop out. But the two, three, and four hitters doing some damage. And here's Ryan Farney, who doubled his last time up. Jumps on the first pitch and rips it foul down the left field line. Sharp ground ball through the left side of the infield and into left field for a base hit for Farney. King comes around second on his way home. He will score and Farney will be able to take second base as Resnick is held at third as the throw from left field gets away in the infield. So now it's a crooked number on the board for Houston. They've got two runs in and runners in scoring position for Matt Luna. Barney's been hot too. This is third hit of the ball game. A couple of singles and a double earlier in this one, but a lot of them have been this way. Ball's well hit to left field. You see the third baseman frying, kind of guarding the line right there to make sure no doubles get past. This one goes in between he and the shortstop. Canada to advance this Fremont team to the semis, pitched out of two bases loaded, no out jams in extra innings. So he could potentially be seen today. Ground ball softly hit towards second. They can't turn the double play, but Farney and Fichter combine for the out at second base. And that should be pitch number nine. Well, I got guys going to lose it just for a minute. Williamson at Hustle allowed him to get there in just enough time. So now with two away, Justin Donda trying to keep it alive for Fremont, California. High pop-up towards second. Ryan Farney's there. It's over. The West University Little Leaguers from Houston, the Southwest champions, are your national champions. They win the Senior League World Series. It wasn't easy, but they got the job done. They did, and I tell you what, give Cartwright credit. He hung in there through strikes at the end. Again, our final.